Tinkercad tip. I had a question from one of my followers regarding making bent tubes, and over the next couple of videos I want to demonstrate three different ways of doing this. The first one I want to demonstrate is using SVG Revolver. So I started by making this shape here, which is 10 by 10 and had a hole in the middle of it. I select it on it, I do an export and export it as an SVG and I called it benttubes.svg. We'll save that. I then came back over here and did a search on SVG Revolver and I found this shape. Once I bring this shape out, let's change the color to yellow. Let's set some of its parameters here. Sketch height, let's make this 10. Inside diameter is 10. Number of sides, 24. Sketch rotation, I'm leaving at 0. Revolve angle, I'm going to change this to 45, 45 degrees. Now, you see here where this is solid, but in order to use the SVG that I created here from this shape, I'm going to select or choose one. There's my bent tubes SVG. Open that. And then it'll change this shape to the shape of the SVG that I saved. So we now have this 45 degree bend in this pipe. I can come back to this shape, duplicate it, increase its height, lay it down on the bed, turn it to the number of degrees that I need, in this case let's make it 90, and I can take and manipulate this to come into place with that bend. Bring it in there a bit line them up. So we could make any number of these shapes at 45 degrees 90 or whatever number of degrees that you want and then piece it together with straight pieces such as this here. Once we're done we could group these together. Let's select all of that, deselect this and this group those together and I now have this piece here as one solid object in Tinkercad. We'll change that to yellow to make it more visible. So you could see here you could make any sort of a pipe or a bend or a solid shape. In fact almost any shape you can use depending upon the SVG that you put into SVG Revolver here. In my next video, I'll go over another me method of making bent tubes and bent shapes.